Welcome back, Reptile fam. What is the word, my fellow Reptile nerds? I hope it's a good word. Me and Ringo here want to say hi. and have a, hope you guys are having a great day and keeping and bringing lots of reptiles. So you're going to notice today is a, a Thursday and not a Tuesday or Saturday. What I'm doing is a bonus video. Um, this week I have Tuesday and Wednesday off um, for my work. So I'm actually going to go down to Lowe's and build a new enclosure for my Cuban iguana. Um, when I got her, I put her in a small closure so she'll calm down. Um, I can work with her a little bit and make sure she's eating and everything. But now she's doing really good, so I'm going to actually upgrade her uh, to a six foot by three foot enclosure. And I know that's not going to be a permanent enclosure, but it's going to last her probably about a year and give her more room and more freedom. So uh, I'm going to take you guys along. Before we get started with that, um, if you guys are new here and then you're checking this channel out for the first time, or you guys are a veteran and been here quite a few times and haven't subscribed, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. Um, also that like button. What it does for me is it helps get that YouTube algorithm going and get my message out there. What I am is a an educational reptile channel. I help people keep reptiles, breed reptiles, and also like to share my collection with you guys. Also, I do have a Patreon page that I'm working on right now. I got started about a week ago. Um, I haven't posted any videos yet, but if you guys want um, some more in-depth uh, information from me, I'm gonna start posting videos about breeding, keeping, and things like that. Also, it's a good place to get a hold of me if you have any questions, and I can definitely get more personal time there. Anyways, guys, let's get down to Lowe's and start picking up some lumber and start building that enclosure. All right guys, let's head to Lowe's and get some lumber. Anyways guys, I'm not sure if you guys know anything about construction or anything about lumber, but um, OSB, I guess you can call it strand board, you can call it a press board. I've always called it press board, but the prices are outrageous right now. Um, you used to be able to go down and buy um, strand board for like, I think it was like $7.95 a sheet for seven eighths. Um, now, it's like 22 bucks. That's crazy. It's actually, you can get plywood cheaper than OSB right now. And I just find that insane. Um, moisture issues. I'm actually gonna put some plastic down the bottom. I'll just probably put a little sheet of plastic. I'm not gonna go crazy with the misting because I'm gonna have her in my reptile room and my reptile room already has a humidifier going off all the time. I keep that room about 30% um, humidity all the time. And then I can always add a little bit more to it. All right, guys, we are here. Let's park and let's go ahead and get some lumber. Uh, we'll get some lumber, guys. Um, hopefully, let me go in. Last time I came here, I was going to do a, a video. They kicked me out with my camera. They don't like the camera in here. So let's see what they say today and just to see where we're at. There's Lowe's. I'm going in to the lumber side. So I'm gonna get two of these sheets right there and make these work right here. They're 32, 10 a piece. Um, this plywood right here. I'm gonna grab two of these and we'll make our cage. All right, guys, that went over like I thought it would. Um, they wouldn't let me film in there. They couldn't stop me. I tried to tell them that I was from, uh, I made a vlog, trying to build a reptile enclosure. Um, that's what it was when I worked at Winco. We had to stop people from filming too. They think you're gonna steal uh, prices so they can meet prices at different places. That's what they say anyways. That's what they told us at Winco. So I started to film and they came and told me I couldn't film anymore. So they walked me around the store. They watched me make sure I wouldn't film anymore. So it is what it is. It's no big deal. It's just lumber. I guess they think I'm, I don't know. Uh, they think I'm gonna steal their prices and go to back to Home Depot and meet their prices, even though Home Depot is cheaper. Anyways, guys, we're going to head home, and then we're going to uh, build this enclosure. All right, guys, we're back from Lowe's. I'm going to have my H2O. Water now, beer later. But before we get started on this build, before I get all the haters saying that I'm building it wrong, I'm too, it's too short, it's too this, it's too that, um, all the humidity is going to go out the top. I actually learned to build this from a guy who breeds Cubans in Florida, and this is how he does his grow outs and it works good for him. And my room is actually humid already. I do have a cold humidifier going there all the time. 
Um, and so all I need to do is mist it once a day. It'll actually stay pretty humid. Um, I keep the room at about 30% humidity. I don't want to go too high because I'll start rotting my um, room, but um, it's already a humid room already. And uh, just uh, spritzing a day will keep it nice and humid. Um, so let's go downstairs and start ripping some boards. Alright guys, this is what I got done so far the first night. Um, I did put her in here. I didn't get it completely done. I'll get the rest done um, today. You can see that she's in there. She's a lot more room. Um, that's where I got my two mercury vapor bulbs. And also I got some other bulbs that are some halogen bulbs. It's supposed to be UVB, I'm not sure. I am got another. I'm gonna have one right there. I'm gonna get one of the, the fluorescent ones across. Um, I didn't have enough room on her old cage. See that little black right there? I got some plastic I gotta hide. I put some plastic under there um, just to keep some of the moisture away from the, the wood. Um, like I said, this is not a permanent build, but it's gonna be. And that right there is actually a door. Um, there's hinges right there. I'm gonna make one more door. I made two doors, so one, I can put the lights on and move it off if I have to get to her. Yeah, she's looking at me. What are you doing? And then also, it's really simple. I just put a piece of wood down there to hold the door. Very simple build. And I got this little platform. And you might wonder what that little thing is. That's actually a bottom of a pot. I've always heard that radiates heat really well. I got that from somebody. Um, from another guy that just put those under there. Um, so if she wants to get really warm, she can lay on it. Sometimes she does, sometimes she doesn't. And I got a little tiny hide over here in her water. But I do, I'm gonna finish it out today. I'm gonna get the air door on here. But super, super easy build. Um, probably only cost me about 120 bucks or less. Um, the only thing it cost me actually was the plywood. The rest of the wood's really cheap. And I did have this around the, uh, this right here left over from when I used to build my normal rat cages. Um, a roll that's about 30 bucks, but you can get enough 
probably for about 10 bucks at the store if you don't. Um, in the future, I might be trying uh, putting Franklin in here. Franklin is actually my red for the tortoise. Um, I watched Camp Kinnon and other people. They actually keep them together. Um, I might try it out, but I definitely watch it because um, they're about the similar size and I don't think they'd hurt each other. Um, the only thing is you gotta be careful. Um, they will, I guess, fight over food and have to put another light someplace else so Franklin can get to it. But I'm not 100% sure on that yet. Like I said, a lot of people say it works out, but I haven't done it yet. And I'm a little scared too, but I think he would like it in here with him. All right, guys, and there it is. Um, that's the final build. I got the door on there. She's in there sunning herself, having a good old time. I have to add decorations, of course. I'll have to fix those plastic. Um, I'm gonna put some molding on the front to make it look, look nicer. I might just paint it, because like I said, this is just a temporary build, lasts a year or so. But um, I think it's a nice build for 120 bucks. I don't think you can do much better for 120 bucks. Um, it's pretty slamming, actually, I think, for the price. Um, like I said, I'm gonna get uh, her light right here. Um, now they have room for the big old uh, fluorescent light just to make sure she's getting that UVB. I do take her outside too, just to make sure. I, I just, I worry about UVB so much because I used to really be into bearded dragons and I used to see the horrors of people not giving bearded dragons uh, enough UVB. I've seen so much metabolic bone disease. It's, uh, it kind of freaks me out. But I always dust her food and everything like that. But this door right here pops open just like that. Both of them do. All I said is I have like a little tiny block that holds it, super simple. Guys, uh, Another thing I should tell you is Harbor Freight. You can get some tools there, air gun, uh, all that stuff, real simple, real cheap. I'm not saying the tools are great, but if you're just gonna make stuff like now and then, like I do, um, that's the way to go. If you're a weekend warrior, you don't need these expensive tools. Um, my dad used to be a contractor and he bought um, professional tools. Now that he's not a contractor no more, he just buys Harbor Freight tools too because um, doing a project here and there, you don't need to spend thousands of dollars on equipment. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, did something different. I had a hard time filming it and getting the right angles. I'm learning as I go, and I think I'm getting better. Also, uh, I'm going to try a new mic out probably on my next video or the one after that. Um, I ordered a new mic. Um, I've been watching my videos, and I just don't, I don't like the sound. I do have a Rode mic. It's supposed to be a nice one, but I'm going to try a lapel mic and see if that works. I'll do a test and see what you guys think. All right, guys. So that's my build. It's kind of ghetto, but you can see that you can do it pretty cheap. I did it for, I think, under 120 bucks. That's counting supplies, the mesh, everything. The things I don't like about it is that she can't see out. She can see out, but she can't see out. Unfortunately, that's the best I could do. And uh, she seemed very happy in there. Um, like I said, she likes to come up to me and talk to me and be with me. She, when I pick her up, she's not a big fan of it. But once I pick her up for a few minutes, she's really calmed down. I've been working with her a lot. Um, she's really sweet. Um, she's got a personality of a dog. She comes and bags her food. They're amazing animals. I'll actually do a video probably next week about how much I love this animal. I've had lots of different reptiles, but she's definitely one of my favorites. You don't have to waste thousands of dollars to build an enclosure for your animals. Honestly, I wouldn't waste that money until they get full grown and then you can build a really nice enclosure. I don't mind buying spending money on a, uh, an indoor enclosure, but as they grow up, I don't like to spend that much money. Um, when she gets full size, I'll have no problem buying her maybe a big, big uh, enclosure from say it's like AP Plastics or something like that, but we're not at that point yet. And um, this took me less than half a day to build, put together, and super happy. And she's happy, I'm happy, and I don't feel so bad that she's in a little crowded spot. Anyways guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely wanna do more videos like this with animals and what I'm doing with my reptile room. Anyways, guys, it would be awesome if you guys would check out some of these other videos right here that I've been working on. Also, hit the subscribe button, guys. I will see you next time. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for being a part of my family. I'll see you next time. Peace.